For decades, scientists have been trying to uncover a mystery that haunts us every year. How the fuck is Kenan Thompson still on Saturday Night Live? An equally perplexing and annual question is, why do the leaves change color in the fall? Well, that's a question only an expert can answer. So why don't you follow me as I reveal the truth behind the fall colors on this episode of... Yeah. I should enjoy the... What the fuck was that? Did you hear that? And apparently it's hunting season. My name is Ashwin, and I'm a seasoned nature expeditioner. From my vast experiences, I've gained a wealth of knowledge that I will now pass on to you. From caving in New Zealand, to discovering wild animals in Africa, from the coldest corners in Alaska, to the hottest deserts in Texas, I'll bring you along on my journey through this planet we call Earth, because this is Ashwin Enjoys Nature. Ah, the fall. Nothing makes you feel more at peace than the colorful leaves taking your breath away. But our debilitating ignorance towards science renders the color change unenjoyable for most. So let's unravel this riddle to properly enjoy nature. The first theory behind the autumn foliage came shortly after pilgrims migrated to America. In 1610, Jathaniel Christabel hypothesized that the local Powhatan tribe painted the leaves with blood to scare off the pilgrims. This perceived threat incited the Anglo-Powhatan Wars. But the real reason's a lot more complex and a lot less genocidal. But before... But before we understand why leaves change to yellow and red, we have to understand why leaves unchange from green. The green color of leaves is a result of a phenomena called photosynthesis. To understand photosynthesis, it's easiest to make an analogy between a leaf and the human digestive system. Imagine a leaf as the body, the molecule chlorophyll as the mouth, the sun as a food, and water as a beverage. To understand how the sun reaches the leaf, it's easiest to make an analogy between sunlight and an airplane. Airplanes deliver the sunlight to the chlorophyll mouth, which devours it, water is helicoptered up the stem, then ships deliver that sunlight to the leaf body. The yellow sunlight and blue water combine to make the color green, which is what we end up seeing. The red color in leaves is caused by a pigment called anthocyanin, uh, which is the same pigment that's found in all the other red objects we're familiar with in nature. The reddish-orange color is more prominent in warmer falls, so as climate change worsens, we'll see more reddish-orange trees as depicted here. So the presence of anthocyanins explains why leaves turn red, but what's making leaves turn yellow? I finally encountered one to find out. The yellow color, on the other hand, is due to a pigment that's been named carotenoid, <laughs> and it's easy to see why. Carotenoids are rather toxic for humans to consume, giving birth to the phrase, avoid the noid, and it's the reason why we don't eat the skin of a banana, lemon, or yellow pepper. We've talked extensively about their differences, but sometimes, both red and yellow leaves grow on the same tree, and we could all learn a lesson from that. But like everything else in life, Anything we cherish will soon abandon us. And as such, the leaves begin dying, detaching from the trees, and falling from the sky, leaving a barren memory of a warmer time. Well, that's it for this episode of Ushman Enjoys Nature. We learned a lot. Nope, I hate this. I hate this, I'm not doing this. Well, that's it for this episode of Ushman Enjoys Nature. There's the fucking bastard right there. We learned a lot today about all the different colors of the fall. Oh, there's two, okay. From the yellow leaves, all the way to the red leaves, I hope this autumn guide will further assist you in enjoying our nature.